Welcome to this review of a tactical Hansold scope. Today I'm going to talk about the Hansold 3.5 to 26 by 56 front focal tactical scope. As you know, Hansold is one of the most famous names in the whole industry of, of uh, telescopic sights or rifle scopes. It is produced by Zeiss, however, it is not owned by Zeiss anymore. Uh, a couple of years ago it was sold first to the Canadian company Cassidian, then it was bought by Airbus, European uh, company. Well, these scopes are known for their superb optics, extreme durability, they are made for extreme cold, for extreme uh, hot weather also for any kind of condition you can imagine and they're also known for their astronomical price uh, this particular model is the I would say the latest generation of Hensold scopes since all other Hensold scopes are uh, dated quite quite far backwards in, in in the past but this one is the last model they introduced it is very short especially if you compare them to other uh, tactical super zooms. Let's say if we look at the Schmidt & Bender 3 to 27 high power, you can see that it is much longer than the Hensel. The Hensel is almost 5 centimeters shorter. But on the other side, Hensel is also very, very heavy and it has a very unusual 36 millimeter tube. The main tube is the same like on the new Zeiss Victory V8 hunting scopes. So now it's not a big problem to find suitable mounts. But at the beginning of its introduction, it was quite a challenge. I think that uh, Spur was one of the only um, producers of 36 millimeter mounts at the beginning. Um, Additionally, what I observed when using this scope, you can see that the scope is uh, already mounted, it, it was already used. I used it on a, a Ritter Stark uh, rifle. What you immediately notice with this scope is when you're, when you're using it, that it has a superb and really good eye box. So you always get a clear picture immediately when you put your eye behind it. It is also very bright. Even at maximum magnification, the brightness is still exceptional. And of course, normally it is waterproof, shockproof, and fogproof. There is also no question about the resolution. The resolution is just superb, even at the highest magnification on really good weather conditions and really good light, you're able to see clearly bullet marks on white paper on white targets on 500 meters, let's say. It's really, really good in optics. Um, it has a side parallax, you can see it goes from 50 meters, this is the lowest setting, all the way to infinity. It is very hard to use but very precise and really, really, really fine tunable. It has a lot of treble, so you can really fine tune it. And the same goes for the magnification, all the controls are quite stiff and you can feel the quality. You can also see the fast focus, it really runs smooth, so it's really well made scope. Um, you can get two options of color, like this one, uh, which is black or in uh, RAL 8000, so the sand color. Mm, if we go to the turrets, the turrets are quite a step forward compared to the older um, Hansel turrets. These turrets have zero stop, six clicks below zero. They're really easy to reset. You just lose this screw, put the turret on zero, then hold it tightly and tighten the screw back. Uh, the turrets have MTC feature, more tactile clicks. You can see on every full milli radiant, it, the click is harder and the turret stops. So four, five, six, it always stops on a full number. Um, same feature like Premier Reticles had them and Schmidt & Bender had them and so on. A good feature. 
The clicks are extremely, extremely hard. So there is no locking mechanism for these turrets, but the clicks are so hard that there is no way that you could accidentally turn it. So the locking mechanism is not so necessary. What is a little bit strange is that when you come to the second turn, you see there is 18 MRATs or mils of treble in the first revolution. When you come to the second turn, there is no turn indicator. This is something what is really funny. Uh, there is really a lot of treble, 36 mils in total, which is really, really a lot. I don't know who would need it except for those extreme long range shooters. So it has no locking mechanism. It has a nice zero stop with six clicks, which go below zero. Very tight uh, clicks, very nicely audible. And I would say the best turret the Hanselt offers. I wouldn't even miss the locking mechanism because the clicks are so hard. Uh, there is only one choice. That means uh, you can see one click is 0.1 MRAT. So we can translate this to one centimeter on 100 meters. There is no other option. Uh, the reticle is normally only first focal plane and at the moment I think only one design. This is hash mark MRAT design. Uh, so there is really not a lot of choices with this scope. I think only the the color is the only choice which you can make. Everything else is uh, only one option, the default one. Um, the reticle has illumination. The illumination is turned with this turret which goes which you pull out from the parallax turret and as you can see it has a, a lot of travel and you can really fine tune it you can even use it with night vision devices and then when you want to turn it off you just push it in um, the reticle is illuminated in the whole central region and the illumination is made only for low light use it's not daytime bright which is logical in such a scope. You don't need daytime bright illumination in such a scope. Uh, but it is really nicely tunable and as you can see the battery compartment is quite big. You can see that the battery which goes in is CR123 so really big battery and Hensold claims this is made this way so that uh, Illumination will work even at the lowest possible temperatures without a problem. So, as you can see, the whole scope is quite robust and it's quite heavy. It is 1300 grams, so almost one and a half kilogram. Really, really heavy, one of the heaviest. If I make a short summary, I would say this is a really high quality tactical scope. The optics is just superb, probably one of the best I have ever seen and easily on pair with other uh, premium or even above other premium uh, tactical scopes made in Europe. It has a great eye box. It is really nicely made and very short. Um, the turrets, they have nice clicks, very hard clicks. They have a zero stop, but on the other side, if you go where to the region where I always say where are possibilities for improvements. I would say turn indicator would be a nice thing on turrets. I would say that uh, a little bit more options would be great. That means a little bit more reticle options um, with clicks, not even, I think that nobody misses MOA clicks in such scopes. So the reticle uh, would be Additional reticles would be a good choice. Also, if it would be possible to choose clockwise and counterclockwise rotation of the turrets. This is also something what some people would like. I also think the scope is a bit heavy and I think it's really, really expensive even though the quality does match the price. It is superb quality, so it's a little bit easier to accept such a high, high price. Thank you for watching. If you need any additional information, please visit our webpage send us questions over email or use comments on this video.